Hey everyone, it's Megan Elizabeth with TheBummerBeeStudio.com and it's project day. So this is kind of an informal video, um, but I thought you guys would really enjoy seeing this. I don't know how it's going to turn out yet. I had this idea when I was at Hobby Lobby the other day and I'm kind of taking it easy so I'm in sweatpants and relaxing without the kids a little bit, but I wanted to get this done and I don't think this is going to be a very hard project at all. And we're going to give it a try. I'm going to be using my Glue Glider Max. Did a little video on this the other day, and this is perfect for this kind of project. Um, I have the Tack It All cartridge in, and there's also the Permatac cartridge you could use as well. Either one I think would work fine for this kind of project. Um, thankfully, with just moving, I had plenty of cardboard boxes still laying around, so I cut up a cardboard box just as a little bit of extra stabilization to get fabric to foam to wood. Um, we're going to give this a try. I probably could use a little bit bigger of a box, but this was the biggest. I already cut the lid off, and then I went a little too crazy, and I cut everything off, and I cut it all apart. But I think it's going to be okay for a stabilization factor. And then I got some really cool, um, kind of canvasy like fabric that I thought would be just awesome on here, and I probably need to iron it out, but we'll see. We're going to give this a try, see how it kind of comes together, and then this is the frame, and I'm making this as a headboard for <laughs> over my bed, and so I got the frame, which I'm going to lay face down again, the box, and then this um, roll of poly foam. It's um, one inch thick, 27 inches um, by 76 inches. And the whole entire project, um, like for the whole entire thing, I spent $32. So not really, not bad at all if it actually works and turns out. And if it doesn't work and turn out, I know I can still use the frame for plenty of other things. And I'm not sewing anything, so I really can't ruin anything at this point. Um, the biggest waste, I guess you could say, would be the foam. But I can still cut that up and use that in other projects and whatever. So... I don't feel like I wasted any money if it doesn't work, and if it does work, it was a really awesome um, thing here. Okay, so I'm going to make the foam backing is actually exactly the same size as the back of the frame, um, and then i got to cut it down just a little bit lengthwise. So I'm using my Tim Holtz tonic shears for that. Um, we'll see how this how this turns out as we go. Working with foam is not always pleasant, in my opinion. In my opinion. Okay, so we need about that much. Okay. So I'm not going to be too worried if it's not exact. Um, I have a little bit of wiggle room here. And yeah, I'm doing this in just sweatpants, sweatshirt, taking it easy, chilling today. I'm hoping this turns out really well. I think this will be really cool in my room. As a go headboard. So there's lots and lots of ideas on Pinterest on making different headboards. Um, I actually went over to Hobby Lobby. If you watch the video I did on YouTube recently, um, I went over there to get something for the Square One designers, and I'm going to be doing a video for them. And I picked that up, and then I saw this stuff, and I, I kind of couldn't resist. So, all right. Ooh, the floor's kind of dirty. Foam picks up dirt on the floor. FYI. <laughs> FYI. <clears throat> All right. So I probably need to trim this just a little bit more because it overhangs a little too much. Would rather it be a little too big than too small. All right. So that should be good there. Now what I'm going to do is, like, coat this... Um, cardboard backing in the glue glider max and it's going to be a little bit of stabilization. What I'm basically using this for is um, it, I feel like it'll give me a better bond like this really this adhesive works awesome. It's an industrial strength adhesive that's going to bond all these different mediums together but I feel like instead of trying to make the canvas bond to the foam and stay it'll bond better to have the canvas to the foam or to the cardboard on the back and have the cardboard to the foam. Does that make sense? I think that makes sense. All right, so really nice wide one inch strips. I'm just gonna do several going along. So 
the whole thing. Um, there is 114 feet on a roll here. So I can get a ton out of this. And this is just perfect for these home projects. the length for this so I'm just going to flip this over and place it right on the foam. Alright so foam is down and yeah it's going to need to be like tacked down really well. Pressed down really well. That actually sticks pretty darn well. Alright so now that that's done Next step is covering the foam with the fabric. And I don't know if I need to iron this or not. I might be able to pull it tight enough that I don't need to iron it, but I'm not entirely sure. So I need to lay this down. Okay. This should actually work out really well. All right, so now I just need to pack up the cardboard again to bring the fabric up over it. Now I'm sure an electric staple gun would work awesomely, um, but I don't have one of those. So I'm really impressed at how the Glue Arts Glue Glider Max is handling this. Um, it is meant for these different mediums, so the fact that it is and it's handling it, um, we're going to see how it lasts and holds up to the weight of it and how big this project actually is. So I'm well, actually, I was going to say, I think I'm going to have to um, trim these sides because the frame is bigger than that. It's going to hide it, and that this is going to this is going to work fine. I'm just going to let the fabric overfold on itself. Maybe use a couple pins at some point in time here and I'm going to actually tack right onto the fabric and then also the cardboard once again. The cardboard is really just my stabilization for the adhesive. That's all I'm using it for. Um, I'm actually going to go back through before I fold this over. Do one more strip. Edge just to keep it a little bit smoother. Actually, that is just perfect. Okay, so you guys are looking at the back, but that's really incredibly awesome. All right, so what I'm going to do, and I really need to just steam it out a little bit, but you guys can really get the full picture of what that is. It's This is going to be awesome. I am excited. So I should have ironed it first, but I'm a little impatient. I wanted to do this video and whatever. Now I'm going to go along the entire border of the wood frame. And this will stick perfect to that, and I don't need to worry about cardboard or anything because this is stable enough. There's not going to be the flexibility to like press it down and get the good grip. And this should hold everything together, and then we'll place this down on here, and then we will tack it to the wall. Fingers crossed. See if we can get this to all come together just right. I am pretty impressed 
this is all, you can see I'm kind of like pulling on it and letting it just hang by itself from the frame. And everything is staying together just awesomely. So um, I'm going to smooth this out a little bit and um, probably tack it just one more time um, after it gets all kind of smoothed out again. But it worked really, really well. Uh, I'm going to hang it up right over my bed and um, call it a day. And this project did not take very long at all. So no sewing required because I can't sew. I don't have a sewing machine. I don't have many tools. So my adhesive, <laughs> Blue Glider Pro Man. Okay, that was awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed today, and I'll see you guys again soon at AboveRubyStudio.com. Bye-bye. Okay, so here it is hung up over my bed. I literally hung it just two inches above where the mattress and the wall meet, and then the pillows kind of fill in the gap in between. I sleep with a lot of pillows on my bed, and then just hung it even. So I think it turned out really, really awesome. Um, I'm really, really happy with it. I'm pretty excited. So even getting some of those wrinkles out uh, made a pretty big difference there too, and it's just, it's tacked up with command strips and the <laughs> um, Glue Glider Max. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this Tuesday tutorial, tutorial kind of thing. Um, DIY, no sew, you know, really a relatively easy project um, for those who don't have a lot of furniture in their home. It'd be great for like a guest room and something like that as well. So um, hope that you enjoy it and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.